नमस्कार एंड वेलकम अगेन टू प्लानेट टू सोल एस्ट्रोलॉजी सो येस आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड एंड येस टूडे वी शेल डिस्कस अबाउट कर्मा द लाइफ साइकिल वाई आई चूज दिस टॉपिक बिकॉज विदाउट कर्मा अवर लाइफ इज यूजलेस बिकॉज वॉट एवर वी आर डूइंग आई एम टॉकिंग टू यू दिस इज ऑल्सो माई कर्म आई एम डूइंग दिस इज प्रारब्द वॉट एवर आई एम टॉकिंग मे बी इट इज नॉट डिसाइडेड सम टर्म्स सम you know abbreviations some sentences are not decided and uh, in flow i am speaking that that is my drud karma whatever i am going to speak uh, knowingly or unknowingly same way whatever deeds whatever karma we are doing in our life that is also our karma cycle and our kundali is a mirror of our sanchit of previous births and our present like this life is storage of our next or would be janmas also so already we are born with our chart uh, with certain planetary position which is also uh, we can call it as a reflection of our past life karmas and what we will do in this life extra than whatever we have already carried forward that will be carrying forward in our next janma which we can call it as a storing of our karmic cycle if we are going to get moksha or if a liberation is uh, destined in our chart then definitely this is our last birth but who knows which is this birth people say ketu in 12th house is last birth ketu in 8th house is the last birth ketu in 3rd house is the last birth but nobody knows about that because we have not seen any life before janma or after our end so definitely uh, our kundli i always say that our kundli our chart our horoscope is a mirror of our sanchit that is accumulated uh, karmas of our previous birth right and when we go ahead so where is the storage where is the storing capacity in our chart so 12th house is holding the maximum storing capacity of karmas of our life 12th house is such a fantastic house which has power to give you liberation which has power to give you awakening which has power to give you kundalini shakti awaken with fantastic healing power if you are able to utilize this karma if you are able to utilize this sanchit karma in a most positive and expressive way and for that we have to be destined to use this karma otherwise we see certain planetary position in our chart but nothing is coming into action we are seeing that so many good planetary positions are there but people complain that no i am spiritually not inclined or my work is not getting done my career is not uh, getting ahead and i am just uh, finding certain difficulties so we have to assess our 12th house and here goes our karma chakra here goes the cycle of our karma and you know this uh, karma chakra uh, is just our enjoyment is our repaying or forfeiting the certain deeds certain karmas uh, whatever we have carried forward and whatever we are accumulating in 12th house and you know this all karmas are ravishing again through our 5th house of chart so 5th house of chart is uh, something we again say that it is a merits and demerits from our past life so what i want to say here that 12th house 5th house and 3rd house are playing very very important a role 3rd house is 8th to 8th house so in that uh, in that uh, cycle 8th house is also connected but here i will talk much more about 3rd house because 3rd house and 12th house if you see so from 12th house if you see so third uh, house is fourth and from your third house if you see 12th house so it is 10th 
सो दिस इज द कार्मिक कनेक्शन ऑफ योर थर्ड एंड ट्वेल्थ हाउस एंड वेन यू सी फिफ्थ हाउस ऑफ योर चार्ट सो ट्वेल्थ हाउस इज फॉलोइंग एर्थ टू योर फिफ्थ हाउस इट इज नॉट नेसेसरी दैट ऑलवेज फॉर अवर प्रोजेनी और अवर संतति सुख और समथिंग वी हैव टू रिफर टू ट्वेल्थ हाउस वी हैव टू रिफर टू ट्वेल्थ हाउस टू सी अवर कर्म साइकिल अवर स्पिरिचुअल अवेकनिंग ऑल्सो इन अ चार्ट हाउ विल बी अवर अवर कर्म साइकिल कर्म साइकिल इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट अनलेस एंड अंटिल यू आर कार्मिक नथिंग इज गोइंग टू हैपन इन अ गुड मूड फॉर यू नाउ गोइंग अहेड अवर नाइन्थ हाउस ऑफ अ चार्ट विच वी ऑलवेज कॉल इट एज अ भाग्य स्थाना और फॉर्चून हाउस इज 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 वर्किंग एज एक्सट्रैक्टिंग द डीड्स एज पर कपैसिटी एंड स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ अवर असेंडेंट लॉर्ड नाइन्थ हाउस एंड नाइन्थ लॉर्ड इज प्लेइंग अ वाइटल रोल फॉर सिलेक्टिंग एक्सट्रैक्टिंग एंड Uh, you know segregating the best karmas or needed or decided prarabdha for us through our sanchit karmas how it is deciding as per the capacity strength and position of our ascendant lord this ninth house and ninth lord will decide that how to give fruits to you in this birth whether spiritually you will be awakened career wise you will be awakened or socially you will be more awakened you will be a bestest wealthy person or you will be a social person whatever fruits you are gaining here that will again be decided through your ninth house ninth lord and your ascendant lord going ahead of this 11th house is also connected how so to give you gains of that karma whatever has been selected through your fortune planet then your 11th house and 11th lord will come into action whether to give lab or whether to give good fruits to this native or what type of uh, benefits what type of gains what type of perks this person is going to get in his life that will be decided from 11th house that is why maybe you are finding it little difficult but when you will conjoin all these things together um, while assessing a chart then definitely things will be much 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 more uh, clearer to you and really it works very um, fantastic so 11th lord and 11th house for any spiritual awakening or any spiritual activity or anything uh related to your fortune definitely 11th house has to be much much in a better shape or in a good shape thus keep your karma that is past present and future in tune for best of earth karma and moksha gains because we are not only going to be spiritual we are not only going to be Uh, uh connected to earth bhav we are not only going to be connected to moksha bhav or not only going to be connected into kama bhav because as our uh, life span as our age grows then definitely kama trikona comes in a deteriorating position and our moksha trikona gets enhanced you know our earth trikona we cannot Uh, say very firmly that if i am 70 years old then i i don't need money or i do not have affinity towards money that totally depends on your ninth lord and your ascendant lord that is why i told that your ninth house will decide that whether this spiritual awakening or spiritual path or a good path liberated path is destined for this person or no so if you want gains of all the four purushartha that is dharma artha kama moksha you have to align your karma cycle now on a, another note i would like to suggest you all that worship the deity related to your 12th lord whoever is or your 12th lord just worship the deity of 
that twelfth lord or going ahead worship the deity of twelfth lord nakshatra that will also give you fantastic fruit if you are not feeling comfortable chanting those mantras also then just see your fifth lord or fifth lord nakshatra and chant those mantras that deities you can just worship you can just uh, you know you can just praise those deities by performing certain rituals to get your uh, alignment of karmic cycle to get aligned career uh, cycle to get aligned social cycle because when we are living when we are uh, experiencing certain situation we need everything we need everything at this stage so we have to make balance between all these planets so this was all about our uh, karma cycle and next time i will come with some another fresh topic by that time stay tuned with planet to soul astrology and as i always say sabka mangal ho may all be blessed namaste